right, we're going to talk about how to construct a basic uh, tone, like a nice rock tone or, you know, thick tone that will impress your audition mates or, you know, just sound good to you, you know, sound good to me. So this is, uh, this is a regular Squire Telecaster. There's no changes to it. Uh, it's the FSR Fender Special Run. FSR Bullet Telecaster by Squire. They are about $149 brand new. Uh, this is the type with the rosewood board um, and the surf green finish. Easy to get. You can even find them used for cheaper than $150. And they're fantastic. Um, so what I did is I've got my Marshall amp on and I, I set it with the treble all the way up. Um, <laughs> This Marshall tends to be a little dark, so even with a bright guitar like a Tele, it doesn't get enough of that jangle. Remember, the closer you hit it to the bridge, the more jangly. That Tom Petty stuff. And then here, will be warmer. So a lot of it's in the fingers, remember. Find a sweet spot that's not crazy, but bright and telly sounding. For me, it's leaning my hand right here and just, it's right there, it's perfect, right over this black pickup. All right, that's where I get my cool rock sound. I don't think about it, but I just lean it and I anchor myself here so I'm not all, you know. See, anchored. All right, so if you notice my tone is just to the point where it distorts the tiniest bit. So it's like when I play hard, it distorts. When I play low, it doesn't. It's clean. Very clean. But when I dig in, just get a tiny bit of grind. It's the, they call that mild breakup or the edge of breakup. That's a good place to start if you're using pedals and stuff like boosts and, you know, overdrives. And basically, the sound from your amp the overdrive from your amp is is better. It's usually better. The problem is that some amps just kind of suck and like you can't get a good overdrive tone from them, so they need help. So you try pedals, uh, sometimes just a boost is good, where you just turn your signal really loud. And I use this thing called the Greenchild Mr. Boost, and I think they're on sale for 79 bucks, made in USA now, they're great. Um, it's part of my sound. So I'm gonna hit the boost pedal. That's the secret weapon, you know. I mean, that's all you need. If you're live, the sound man really does the rest. You know, he'll give you delay and reverb and stuff. But if you feel like you want to get all that stuff on stage and have your sound just down, you know, um, get yourself a reverb pedal. I use this thing called a Joyo Space Verb. Because it's tiny, it's simple, and it's good. Part of their Iron Man series. There's reverb. Hear it? Reverb. No reverb. It sounds like we're in a room now. So reverb is not like... Echo, echo, echo. It's not an echo. It's more like walking through like a parking garage. That, that kind of an echo. It's like a chamber, a room sound. So you don't want the de decay so long that it interferes with your sound. Keep it short. Let's shorten that up a tiny bit. You don't want a lot of mix, so bring the mix down so it's not just, you know, like surf or anything. It's still rock. You want to give it a little presence in the room. You want it to be heard. The effect should be heard, but subtle. It doesn't sound rock anymore. It sounds some kind of like, you know, garage or psychedelic or something. You got too much on. A little more decay. Got a 
can't hear it. Okay. So we got the boost and reverb now. Pretty good. You got your clean by just turning your volume down. You want to keep your boost on because it thickens up your fender even when you're doing cleans. Turn it up. Got distortion. Mild distortion. Okay. I like to use a delay pedal for always on delay. I just keep it on a little bit. Um, I like to keep it. It's my sort of secret thing. It's my personal setting. I keep it somewhere between rockabilly slapback and... I guess like psychedelic reggae dub repeats. So when I think of reggae, it's like ja, da, 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 da. Uh, rockabilly's deca. So you know you want it somewhere in between. For me, I always think of this song. Um, ooga chaka, ooga chaka, ooga chaka. I can't stop that feeling. Ooga chaka. And that's that's the tempo of my um what is it? Oh the good time. Um I'm hooked on a feeling. That's the name of the song. So that Ooga Chaka speed, that's the tempo of my delay. Ooga chaka, ooga chaka, da 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 So let's turn on some delay. Ooka chaka, hear it? Okay, that's close enough. What that to me is, it's like a lead guitar delay. It's something like what Van Halen or one of those guys kind of sounds.